Welcome back to Tada 3D Printing. I had another request for TPU on the Prusa XL, and really the only thing that I've showed you guys was just those little calibration cubes. So I wanted to print something a little more interesting from printables, and I found this Frisbee by Matt Fibbs. There are three sizes, so of course I'm going to pick the largest size to start with. The 240 millimeter ends up being just under nine and a half inches in diameter. I slice this at 0.4 draft for the layer height. I just use the Amazon Basics TPU and the default 0.6 nozzle. This is gonna take just a little under four hours. I am using Overture brand TPU in black and you can see that it is very flexible. It's a little bit of an adjustment after working with the other types of filament. And that flexibility does make it a little bit difficult to load on this long Bowden tube of the Prusa XL, but overall it worked fine to get it loaded. This print with the 0.4 layer height only has two layers all the way across the entire Frisbee, and then the rest of it is just those sides that build up. And this does feel like it takes a while, so let me speed it up. Okay, so this Frisbee is done. I did use the textured sheet on this, and it is very difficult to get it off but it does peel. Um, I feel like I did lose just a tiny bit of texture on the right on the print bed when I peeled it off. You can see some kind of white dots there. Um, but other than that, it, it peels off really well and the underside of the Frisbee, or I guess the top, looks really cool. I love the pattern of the textured sheet. On the underside, I do see some stringing and some globs on, on the edges where those stringing areas kind of ended, where the nozzle kind of ran across. So I probably should have aligned the seam a little bit better. It feels a little bit flimsy, so let's try it out. I knew my dogs would immediately go for this, so I had them inside when I wanted to do a couple of test throws to see how well this does fly. And it does better than I expected. Definitely goes farther than any of the gliders, and the dogs, of course, do love it. It is really flexible and so I was a little bit nervous that they would be able to just bite right through it. So now that Spy brought it back, let's see how it looks. Okay, so of course it's dirty, but even where he picked it up, there are no puncture spots. I'm really impressed that the flexibility of the TPU, he can kind of bite on it and it's not tearing. He's not puncturing through it. I would not feel comfortable leaving this with him because I think eventually he would destroy it but it's great as a toy to throw. Ronix even likes it a little bit. He's a little older, so he's not quite as excited as Spy is, but um, I'm surprised how much they like it. I think I'm gonna try to print a couple more and keep a few of these around to play with the dogs. Let me know what you guys print with TPU. I usually have very boring prints for TPU, so I'm very interested to see how this would turn out with other things. Thanks for watching.